I created Species Nutrition with one mission in mind, to provide bodybuilders and serious athletes with no-nonsense supplements that work. I put my name and reputation on every bottle of Species Nutrition products. If you want to be your absolute best, join the evolution. Debate between structure versus conditioning and, you know, whether structure will always win out over. Obviously, there's been a lot of talk of that this week. Uh, your thoughts on, on again, that debate between the likes of a Samson Dowda and an Andrew Jack versus the likes yeah. of a Nick Walker and a Hottie Chupan. And I guess you could also throw in a Derek Lunsford. Yeah. Well, let, let's take even a more extreme example of that. Chris Bumstead. Better structure than Nick Walker, right? But Nick Walker out muscles him by quite a bit. You know, does in an, in a, in a contest who wins? I say Nick Walker because I think he's he's more complete, right? His conditioning is great. So structure doesn't always beat, you know, um, mass and 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 maybe you know and thickness. What it is is who's up there and what they're judging. Meaning that Samson Dowder is not a thin guy. He is complete. He's got a lot of muscle. He's got mass. He's got great symmetry. His weaknesses, his conditioning isn't always perfect. So that leaves the door open for a guy like Nick Walker to beat him. Okay, so if Nick is perfect conditioning like he always is, with all that mass, maybe not the best symmetry, but good symmetry, he could beat Samson if Samson's off. But Samson, with the amount of muscle mass he has on his body and the way it flows, structurally speaking, when he's in the best shape of his life, he can't be beat, you know? That's just called having superior genetics. It sucks because you want to think, well, the biggest, hardest guy wins, but that's not always the case. You know, uh, there are, Marcus Rule would have been Mr. Olympia if that was the case. But, you know, he wasn't because he didn't have the best structure and he wasn't always in the best shape. He usually was in pretty good shape, though. But that's the way it goes. So can Nick Walker beat those guys? Absolutely. If they're off a hair... He steps in there and he's right there beating them. Branch Warren did it for years. He beat guys that were much better than him structurally because he had the mass. He had freaky conditioning, you know, when he brought it. And he had graininess. And that's impressive when, 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 when you have a guy who should beat him but is a little bit, you know, not quite where he needs to be. So Sam, guys like Samson and uh, Andrew have the advantage of – holding their own destiny in their own hands because they're so good structurally that if they bring the muscle size and they bring the conditioning, they're almost unbeatable, you know, in today's, in today's bodybuilding world, you know, I mean, when flex Wheeler was on, he couldn't be beat and he wasn't even the biggest guy. He just structurally was so much superior to everyone. And that's why genetics are such an important part of bodybuilding, you know, because you can't supersede genetics. If you don't have good genetics, you can be great, but you might, you'll never be the best. Now, if you have great genetics and you work hard and have a lot of muscle, Ronnie Coleman, you're unbeatable. And that's just the way the sport is. And so Samson hasn't gotten to the unbeatable stage yet. He won the Arnold, but he wasn't, still wasn't his best conditioning wise. When he brings his best conditioning wise and brings his back up a little more, he will be very, very difficult to beat.